Hey guys, this is the must have Shopify apps to increase sales for this year. In this video, I'm gonna go over 11 apps that will help you increase sales, increase conversions. Let's get right into the first one, which is TikTok advertising by TikTok. And yeah, I definitely wanna start with this one because TikTok is kind of an unmovable force. You know, one of the most popular social networks right now. And yeah, a lot of people maybe don't like TikTok or don't understand it or think, oh, it's kind of for kids, it's not really for me, but facts are facts. This thing has more users right now than pretty much anyone. The user growth is incredible and TikTok are starting to monetize this platform. And you know, it's just undeniable that being first somewhere online is a huge, huge advantage. This app though, working with Shopify has some really good advantages. So first you can sign up for the TikTok ad program. But if you go through this application and this service on Shopify, you get some benefits. You can actually get some free ad spend when you sign up. So that's an initial advantage, basically free advertising. TikTok are going though really heavily into this particular monetization option, which is uh, direct selling. So it just makes total sense with Shopify, which is kind of the same thing. So you have a TikTok account, you have TikTok ads, people can then click on these links and go right through directly to a store. So it just links up with Shopify so easily. You can get all of the analytics in Shopify. It just, it's gonna work absolutely perfectly. Shopkeeper gift cards is going back to old school though, directly from TikTok. This is really just a nice way to offer customizable gift cards. So if someone is in your store and they do wanna buy a gift card for a friend or as a gift, that functionality is in Shopify, but it's really simple. You know, it doesn't really look too great. Whereas this app gives you a bunch of templates. Users can choose those, you know, the best looking one for them. They can also customize the gift card with maybe a special message or something like that. You can also get all the analytics of the gift cards as well. And the main benefit of this app really is customizable designs and messages on gift cards. Ultimate Sales Boost has a few different areas that it focuses on. It's a really good tool to help with conversions, so definitely make this list. The first one is a sense of urgency. So you can put countdown timers, low stock countdowns, and short-term deal uh, messages and countdowns onto your site. The next one is social proof, and you can get shipping estimates, which is really great. So if someone's buying on your store, you know, it will tell them right there on the product page, this item is gonna take two days to deliver. It's just nice for customers to know that. You also get trust badges that you can put on there. So maybe some payment badges or some trust badges like that. You don't have to use that. And I would say definitely, you know, too many badges can kind of look a bit spammy. So definitely choose what fits with your store, but it's nice to have that option. The third area is promotions. So on product pages, you can have uh, cross sell promotions, add to cart promotions. So maybe a second product that maybe goes with the product that they're buying. A couple of ways to cross promote products and increase the overall cart value. A lot of these items though on the app are customizable. So you can definitely make uh, all of these promotions and badges and pop outs look a lot like your store. As I said, I wouldn't use all of them because it kind of looks spammy, but just using a couple of them could work really well. Privy is one of the most popular marketing type apps on Shopify. There's lots of things you can do to market to customers, to also gain customer details and you, so that you can start marketing towards them. Pop-ups just like every marketing app so you can get customer information, but you can also do competitions and prizes as well. So maybe someone gives you their email address or if someone buys, then they can enter into another uh, prize competition to maybe win a small prize next time they order. There's also a free shipping bar in here. So you can let customers know if you spend over $100, then get free shipping and it can come down. So if someone adds $50 to the cart, it will say, hey, free shopping in $50 time, which is quite good. Now, if you use a Shopify theme, you're gonna get a shipping bar there, or you're gonna get a notification bar that you can put free shipping on, but definitely not as customizable as some of these apps. So if you really do want to customize that, have a bit more functionality, you might have to go for something like this. Smile Rewards is really an extension of Privy. It's not the same, it's a different app, but this is rewards, referral schemes, points, and VIP programs. Again, if you're looking at increasing conversions, then this type of thing obviously is gonna to have to be on your site. And with Smile, it's one of the biggest reward programs on Shopify. You can set up points rewards. So, you know, if they buy $100, maybe they get 100 points. You can actually set up campaigns where, you know, you're giving extra points. So maybe instead of 100 points per $100, you can double that to 200 points for a short period to try and increase sales. 
Referrals are a really great feature of this app though, and I think in modern marketing, a referral scheme and a referral link is really powerful. So every customer that signs up can get a referral link that they can use to promote your stuff and your products. So they can promote that with their friends, maybe on WhatsApp, they have a group of 20 friends or something, use my referral link if you wanna buy, and they can share that on social media as well. Definitely at the moment, it is all about the power of the long tail of social media. So people with maybe you know a group of 100 friends or 200 friends, you know, that could really increase your sales if they have an incentive to send out their referral link. And in the same ilk as referrals and marketing schemes, we have Yotpo. So this is a review system. Yotpo, again, one of the most popular and reviews really needed on your site. Shopify has a reviews tool for free that you can use. It's not that robust though. It's okay, but not amazing. With Yotpo, people can input photo reviews, which I think is super important. You also have Q and A's with Yotpo as well, so they can ask and get answered and other people can see that. It's just really useful stuff around your product page. If you're a small company with less than 50 monthly orders, you can get most of these features for free just to try it out. So yeah, if you're a small store, try Yotpo out, see if it works for you. When you do go up to a bigger store and you have a lot of orders, you have to start paying, of course, it's definitely not that expensive for the first tier though. And by the time you've got that many orders, this is probably gonna be a useful feature for you. Moving on to Firepush. This is an alternative to a very popular app called Pushout. The reason I've chosen Firepush is because if you're a small store, you actually get more features in the free version. And then the first tier is actually a little bit cheaper as well in terms of what you get for your money. Both Firepush though and Push Owl, it's the same sort of thing. So you have abandoned cart emails and you can automize this. So if someone adds a few things to the cart and then abandons, you'll send this automatic email to them just trying to recover the cart. There are also way more features though. So you can set up complete marketing campaigns with the app uh, through email. You can also split this by type of customer. So if you have customers that haven't bought in the store for six months, you can maybe send them an email or try and start a marketing campaign to those to try and bring them back in and shopping again. Push out and this one, very, very similar. But if you are a small store, then Fire Push may be good for you to try out for free and see if it works. Pagefly can really help you if you wanna really get specific in your marketing campaigns and your advertising. This is an app that lets you build custom landing pages, which is, has always been a uh, really super specific way of targeting ad campaigns. So if you have an advert that you've got on Facebook ads, for example, then rather than just linking to a normal product page and having all of the data and analytics kind of mixed in with other people that are coming to that page, you can create a specific landing page for that advert. So you know exactly how that advert is converting. On that landing page, you can have special discounts, special offers, create a completely separate landing page for your adverts as opposed to that product page usually. The app has more than 60 templates and you can make all of these look really, really similar to your own store. The benefits of a landing page, definitely, you can just know exactly who's coming onto the page if the advert is working for you. If the page itself is converting for you, uh, why it's converting or why it isn't converting. You can just get a lot of rich data from that landing page. And it's also way more specific if you're advertising a product that you just really wanna sell one of. Maybe you've got a single product that is uh, limited or short time only. You wanna set up a landing page for it. Really, really useful way of doing it. Inca Upsell does what it says on the tin. It tries to upsell people and cross sell people inside the cart. So you don't have to put too many pop-ups on screen, which can get a little bit spammy, but it's just really particular to the product. So the example I think they have is uh, sunglasses. So if someone is buying sunglasses, then inside the cart when they go to check out, it's gonna be a really very simple cross-sell or an upsell. Hey, do you want a case for this? It just makes sense. It goes hand in hand with the product. It's a very easy way of trying to increase cart values without too many pop-ups or recommended products on the screen, which can sometimes just get a little bit spammy and a little bit too much. The next one is all of the marketplaces that you wanna look at on Shopify. So at the start, I said TikTok. Shopify has loads of channels, Facebook channel, Google channel, Amazon, eBay, Walmart even, and Etsy marketplace channel. These really are the websites that most consumers buy on these days. and just being on them is going to increase the amount of sales that you have as long as you're using them the right way. 
Each app may be better or worse for you depending on your business. Obviously, I can't recommend one over the other, but certainly using these sales channels is a way to increase your reach and potential revenues. We come to Pre-Order Manager. I love this app and I love what it does. Creating pre-orders for products. This is gonna be really, really useful for some stores. Other stores, maybe not so, but you can create a pre-order for items that either aren't in stock now and will be back in stock, or set up a pre-order for a product that will be coming in stock soon. What I can see this app and this style of marketing really useful for is uh, stores that maybe make custom items or make batches of items. Maybe you make jewelry, earrings, maybe you make leather wallets uh, to order or you make small batches. Pre-orders is gonna be super great to try and drum up some interest in the product and really show people that a product is coming before it's actually there. But there are some apps that I think may help increase your conversions and your sales and just help your store out. Of course, any great apps that didn't make the list, of course, put them in the comments so other people can get some value as well. Thank you for watching though. That is it for this one. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.